What I have here, my friends, is the One Tigress Tetra tent. This is a new line of tents that One Tigress just brought out a few weeks ago. There's a small version, this one here, and there's also a larger version. What these tents are, are square-shaped TP tents. And in this episode, we're going over the small version. If you're interested in the larger version, don't worry, I will have a preview coming up very soon. To begin, let's do a component breakdown. So this is the tent itself. It comes in a burrito style stuff bag. You have two compression straps. You have a draw pull. And then it opens up just like this. Inside of this bag, you receive 12 tent stakes and four guy lines. Yes, I know I said four guy lines and yet I showed you two. I've begun testing this out already and I have those lines attached. And lastly, everyone, you get the tent itself, which we will go ahead and set up now. Take a look at that square formation. Because it's a square shape, it's very, very easy to set this up. Not all TP tents are this easy to set up, especially when it comes to like octagon shaped systems. They're not overly complicated to set up, but it can take quite a bit of time to make adjustments, which will be required for a proper setup. Now that I have this set up, folks, let me go ahead and zip this door shut so you all can see what it looks like. You can see the design of the tent is the teepee. You can also see that it's square in its formation. You could also see that one side of this tent is higher than the other. It's higher over here and it tapers towards the front. Going to the back of the tent here, I'll explain why that is. Along this raised section is a huge mesh vent. And you can see how it goes all the way across here. Here's another angle. Again, you can see how it tapers down towards the front. Looking at the front of the tent, you have the door. With this tent, there's only one door. You have zippers down here and you have zippers over here and you can open it any way that you want to. Or you can open both sides at the same time to create a sort of awning. If the conditions are bad, you can seal it up like this. If the conditions are good, you can open it like this. You have a storm flap that goes over the zippers. Each flap features two sections of Velcro. At the very top of the tent, you have a vent. You also have another one on the other side. At the top of the tent, you have a loop there. This way you can attach this to an overhang and set it up that way. That way you don't have to use a pole. Talking about the way that this tent stakes out, Stake here and here for the front. You also have a side stake out, one on each side. At the back of the tent, you stake in the corners and you also have a stake point in the center. Along the body, you have four tie-off points. With the four tie-off points, those are on the front half of the tent. Unfortunately, there are none on the back side. For an example, there's no guy-off points on the back side of this tent, which is unfortunate. With the door rolled back, you can see how easy it is to get inside of this tent. So this is a two person tent and it is big enough in fact for two people. In a second, I'll go over the measurements. Before that, let's talk about the features on the inside of the tent here. On the right side of the tent, when looking towards the door, you have a mesh pocket. You can see up here at the top, you have the vents. At the back of the tent, you have that huge mesh vent and you can see the cover there. You have a toggle here at the top. That way you can put the cover down if you need to or if you want to. But let's say it's windy and you need it, you can easily put it back on. Along the perimeter on the inside of the tent, you can see that there's a lip there. Think of that as a sort of skirt for this tent. And that is the Tetra tent from One Tigress, the small size. Now let's go over some stats and let's talk about the larger size as well. Before going any further in this episode, everyone, please hit the thumbs up, it does help the channel. I really appreciate it. Back to the episode. With the Tetra tent, it is available in one color and that is urban gray. The pack size is 15.7 inches by six inches. When it's all set up, you're looking at 4.3 feet tall. It is 7.2 feet deep and 7.5 feet wide. The depth from the pole to the back of the tent is 3.6 feet, just in case you're wondering. When it comes to the materials, you're looking at a 20 denier silicone and PU coated nylon. The tent features YKK zippers. The waterproof rating for this tent is 3,000 millimeters, and the weight is 2.4 pounds, and that includes all of the components. This is, as you can see, a single wall tent. It's a two-person tent, non-freestanding, of course. The price of this is $130, and already we've gone over what's included. Let's talk about what's not included. That's a pole. 
As you saw, I set this up with a stick, but you can easily use a trekking pole, a green elephant pole, whatever you want. Now let's talk about the smaller version and the larger version. The smaller version is called the 130. The larger version is the 160. The smaller version, which you see here, does not feature a tent inner. It's nothing but the tent. It also doesn't come with a pole. These aspects are different than the large version. The large version of this tent includes a pole and it also includes an integrated tent inner. Again, folks, it's integrated and it cannot be removed. Lastly, the larger version is more expensive. It's about $180. Now that we've gone over the stats, let's talk about that big vent in the back because that's more than just a vent. One Tigress calls this the 3D condensation system. It's a large vent that's elevated in the back and it allows for angled airflow into the tent. Again, you have that protective panel that blocks the wind from hitting the users inside, but it allows airflow to go up the tent to reduce condensation. Also, because of the way that it's slanted, it drains condensation outside of the tent. Now, everyone, I'd like to go over my thoughts and impressions of this tent so far. Now, in this case, I've actually begun using this tent and I could share some insights with you already. I could share some pros and cons. I might as well say this right off the bat. After testing this out for a while, this might just be my most favorite One Tigress tent. I really like this. The price on this tent is excellent, $130. There's plenty of space inside of this for two people. It's a palace for one person. It's large enough to put a cot in the back. You can have gear, you can have a table, even a chair. Next everyone, the way that this door works and the functionality is excellent. You can unzip from either side so you can enter and exit any way that you want to. Or let's say that you want a porch, you need some sun protection. You can use some sticks, some trekking poles, you could set this up and you can sit underneath it. With the porch here, it's not going to work the best in a heavy rainfall. If that's what you want to use this for, I would still recommend a tarp, at least going over the front half of this tent. And that's because of the way the fly is tapered when you have it set up in that porch mode. You'll have protection underneath it, but not much protection right here at the front of the tent. Next everyone, the form factor is excellent. It's a very small tent. It's very lightweight. So far with my inspections, the quality of this tent has been excellent. I've seen no issues. The threads look good. The seam tape looks good. I also like the looks of this tent. It's a bluish gray. It looks sharp. The tent features a ton of vents. You have the two at the top and that big vent at the very back. The 3D condensation system, it works. It actually works. Recently, I had this tent out in a freezing rain event and I had very little condensation form on the inside. Some did form, but it wasn't bad considering the fact that this is a single wall tent and I had it all sealed up. That protective flap on the back, it does work. It angles the air into the tent and at the same time, it blocks it from hitting you while you're sleeping inside of it. Next everyone, when it comes to setting up this tent, it is super, super simple. With this tent here, all you have to do is stake around the perimeter, center pole, make some minor adjustments, and you're done. It's that easy. Now let's talk about the cons that I have for this tent. First, there's no pole included. I really wish there was. To set this up, you will need a pole that's at least 4.3 feet long. Now everyone, I wanna talk about these tent stakes. You can see the corded pool here. These are absolute garbage. Take a look at this, you can see that that pull is coming undone. You can see with these, they've already pulled out. Just in case you haven't seen my adventure, I took the smaller version out for a trip. It was a freezing rain adventure. The time comes for me to break down the tent. I was going down to remove one of these stakes. I grabbed the pull and it ripped off and my finger went right into the sharp edge of the tent stake and gave me a pretty nice cut. It's one of those things where I actually spoke of this in the video when I was setting up the tent. I was talking about how I don't like these corded pools, the cord's no good, the knot's no good. I mentioned that and then the next day, I was paying more attention to the insane winds. I go down, grab this, ripped a nice chunk out of my finger. So if you plan to purchase this tent, plan to replace these cords, they suck. The stakes themselves are just fine, they work fine but the pulls themselves, they're garbage. By the way, everyone, I guess I should talk about this. My experiences with this tent, as far as it being waterproof so far, 100%, I've had no issues, even during heavy, heavy rainfall. Actually, it was freezing rain, but it still counts. Anyways, everyone, as far as it being waterproof, so far, so good. Right there you have it, folks. That is the One Tigress Tetra, smaller version. So far, I really, really like what I'm seeing here. It's performing extremely well. It's lightweight, well-made, very simple to set up good quality, condensation is not an issue so far. Very interesting porch design, I like that quite a bit. Even though it's not going to be usable on its own in all situations, it really is more for like blocking sunlight than rain. The issue with the tent stake is a small one, but man, I was pissed off at the time. Boy, I was steaming, I was so mad. 
more at myself than anything else because I called it out already and I just wasn't paying attention. I was focusing on those winds, which were like 60 miles an hour. It sounded like a freight train above my head. It's something else. Anyways, I was definitely frustrated. If you plan to get this tent, replace those pools. You'll be glad that you did. And with that being said, everyone, I am done. Make sure to comment down below and share your thoughts. What do you all think about the Tetra? So far, so good. I'm really liking what I see here. As I said before, already this is one of my favorite tents from One Tigress. I really, really like this. I really wish that a pole was included. I really do. Because I think finding the right size pole can be a little bit difficult. It's going to require you to do some research and figure out what you want to carry to set this up. By the way, everyone, I should say this. This is not my full review of this tent. These are my impressions after setting it up, after getting out and using it with one trip. I'm going to continue to test this out for a long period of time and ultimately my review will go up where I share my final thoughts and opinions on this shelter. But so far, so good. I like what I see here. You will see a video on the larger size of Tetra tent coming up very soon. So if you have any questions about it, you'll have those answered very soon. Before you go, make sure to hit thumbs up. It does help the channel. You can support the channel, which is agenda free. Patreon, YouTube, you can join the wolf pack. Oh yeah. I will see you all again soon. Bye for now. How the strangest feeling to know what to believe in. Because mm -hmm. every time you touch me, I can't control my body. I'm feeling